It's good to have you join us on AD4 TV Radio News Update, coming to you live from Abuja, Nigeria's federal capital. I am Merciful Ajinomo. Nigeria's First Lady, Mrs. Aisha Buhari, who was represented by Mrs. Pauline Tallinn, the Nigerian Minister of Women Affairs and Social Development in Abuja, says the federal government is committed to building the capacity visibility and knowledge of youth with disabilities to enable them to be self-reliant and productive. She stated this at the opening of a three-day workshop on monitoring and life-enhancing program for youth living with disabilities. According to her, young people living with disabilities were among the poorest and most marginalized in society and thanked the Ministry of Youth and Sports Development for providing a platform for purposeful engagement and further sensitization of the plight of these youths. In talking education, the Registrar of the Joint Admission and Matriculations Board, Professor Ishak Oloyede, during the commissioning of the 230 million central admission processing system, this Monday in Abuja, Nigeria, stated that 64 computer-based centers across the country will be used for mock examinations starting this Tuesday for 350,000 candidates. The Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, while commissioning central admission processing system, said it was introduced to ensure due process and discipline in the admission process in Nigeria. Still talking education, the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Abuja, Nigeria, Professor Abdul Rashid Naala, on Saturday, while speaking at the 24th Convocation Ceremony of the University, said that the institution is striving to eliminate past degrees in its university by improving on the quality and standard of teaching and learning in the institution. This, he said, has started manifesting as only 52 amongst the graduating students got past degrees. While given a breakdown of the degree classification of the graduating student, the vice chancellor said, out of the 10,331 graduating, 26 had first class, 866 had second class upper, 2,317 had second class lower, 339 had third class, and only 52 students graduated with a past degree. We are eliminating past degree eventually in this university. The breakdown and categories of the graduate students are as follows. First class honors, 26. Second class honors, 866. Second class honors upper division, 866. Second class honors lower decision, 2,317, third class, 239, past degree, 52. The acting director of the Department of Forestry, Federal Ministry of Environment, Nigeria, Tiamiu Oladele, has announced in an interview with newsmen this Monday in Abuja, Nigeria, plans by the federal government to plant 30 million tree seedlings in 2020 to accelerate afforestation in the country. He said that the department adopted practical measures to achieve this, one of which is the distribution of seedlings to Nigerians at nearest locations available for planting. According to him, the department will constitute a task force to monitor tree felling, wood processing and marketing. The Commissioner for Finance in Sokoto State, Nigeria, Honorable Abdul Samad Dasuki, has revealed at a management retreat of Sokoto State Ministry of Finance, held at the weekend in Lagos, plans to utilize a loan of 65.7 billion naira to embark on massive infrastructural project and investment in critical projects in agriculture, health, housing, urban renewal project, roads and bridges, as well in education. The plan, Dasuki said, will be achieved through a multifaceted approach that will fast-track the economic transformation of the state and position it as a leading economy, not only in Nigeria, but in Africa at large. Elizabeth Okafo, an octogenarian and a community leader in Abuatolo Enugu, Ko Anambra State, Nigeria, while speaking to newsmen this Tuesday, urged all tiers of government to prioritize girl-child education in the country, adding that a girl-child who receives quality education would be a good ambassador anywhere she finds herself. You're watching AD4 TV radio news update. We'll go on a short break now. Up next... Israeli scientists develop system that produces water from air. One dead, one injured in Bangkok shooting mall. And federal government extols Nigeria-India relations to drive technology development in Africa. Masters when we return, do stay.
AD4 TV Radio, we focus on education with emphasis on research and innovation, science and technology, women and girl child education, children, health, youths and sports, socio-political and economic reforms, security, environment, entrepreneurship and entertainment. We we'll give you information at your fingertips. Learn on the go. Follow AD4 TV Radio on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram and YouTube. AD4 TV Radio, reliable and credible. We love you, AD4 TV Radio. Many thanks for staying. On the foreign scene, the Israeli researchers have developed an energy-independent portable system for extracting water from the air. The Israel Institute of Technology reported that the new technology will help provide water to small, isolated communities located far away from water sources, as water transportation costs to such areas are high. According to the researchers, their motive for developing the new system was as a result of the World Health Organization evaluation that by 2025, half of the world's population will be living in water-stressed areas. A police spokesperson, Krisana Pachacharin, reported that a gunman opened fire at a mall in Bangkok, Thailand, killing one person and injuring another this Tuesday. The victims of the shooting were both women and the search for the shooter is ongoing. The shooting occurred a week after a Thai soldier went on a deadly rampage in the country's northeast before arriving at a shopping mall where he was shot dead by the police after killing 29 people and injuring 58 others. Dr. Isa Pentami, the Nigerian Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, in his address at the Made in India Nigeria Business Forum, organized by the Indian High Commission this Monday in Abuja, extolled Nigeria India relations as strategic to drive technological development in Africa. According to him, the forum is very strategic to areas such as ease of business, adding that they have also benefited from India in the area of capacity building. Vela Galeti Sorendra, the Deputy High Commissioner of India to Nigeria, described the relationship between his country and Nigeria, that of mutual respect and economically prosperous. According to him, Nigeria has in what is happening in India, because what Nigeria see in India is hope, saying if India can achieve anything, Nigeria also can. And uh, secondly, we have also been benefiting from India through capacity building. And uh, thirdly, the relationship between the Indian High Commission here in Nigeria and the ministry I supervise, Ministry of uh, Communications and Digital Economy, has been very cordial. You know, India's success in Nigeria has been its investment. And uh, we see that uh, India, Indian uh, related investment is around 14 billion in Nigeria and uh, they have been successful in creating over 25,000 jobs. Dr. Olorumi Bey Mamora, the Nigerian Minister for State, Federal Ministry of Health, says the Economic Community of West African States, Minister of Health, have agreed to support member states for regional preparedness and response to the ongoing coronavirus. Mamora made this known at a news conference this Monday in Abuja while briefing journalists on the outcome of an emergency meeting held in Bamako, Republic of Mali, on the urgent need to strategize to protect the population of the region. He said members have resolved to provide technical guidance and tools specifically to member states towards containing the disease. Meanwhile, Professor Stanley Okolo, the Director General, West African Health Organization, said that a number of laboratories in Africa that could test samples for coronavirus have continued to increase by the day. The World Health Organization Africa, in a statement issued in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, this Tuesday said, the Ethiopian parliament has passed the landmark legislation with the aim of curbing smoking in the country. With this legislation, Ethiopia appears to have initiated a mixed excise system on cigarettes, which is in tandem with the recommendations of World Health Organization. Dr. Burema Hamasambo, a WHO representative, Ethiopia contended that cancer and other non-communicable diseases are on the rise in Africa and this groundbreaking new law will significantly reduce cigarette smoking among Ethiopians and save lives. The Nigerian entertainment industry has over the years impacted good values on the lives of Nigerians through the content passed through music, movies and other platforms. The advantages of the Nigerian entertainment industry to the nation cannot be overemphasized considering how much they contribute to the economy. However, 
Some Nigerians are of the opinion that the entertainment industry has a negative impact on the youth in the country. Some residents of Abuja, Nigeria, who spoke to our correspondent, have this to say. We have some celebrities up there that the kind of lifestyle they are living isn't the right kind of lifestyle. And these persons, through their influence, they, they, they promote um, indecency. For me, it's a little bit um, um, impacting in terms of uh, job creation. If are some people who are not looking at of school as just a mere wasting of time, because they see all these people are making, without going to school, they are making money. On a lighter mood, although a serious business, did you know that copying your original academic paper without giving credit or reference to the initial work is wrong and punishable? According to Google, self-plagiarism is the use of one's own previous work in another context without citing that it was used previously. The idea is that the writer should let the reader know that this was not the first use of the material. Please share your thoughts on this on our social media handles at AD4TV Radio. You can also join the conversation on our website www.ad4tvradio.com. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube page at AD4TV Radio. That's it on AD4TV Radio News Update coming to you live from Abuja, Nigeria's federal capital. Many thanks for watching. I am Merciful Ajinomo.